Erinji is a Yamanashi Zen temple. It is also the resting place of a celebrated samurai leader. His name was Takeda Shingen. Many called him the Tiger of Kai. Shingen himself is said to be the model for this Buddhist statue. Each spring, on the anniversary of his death, sutras are chanted to the statue. In the 16th century, the region west of modern-day Tokyo was known as Kai. The power of the emperor was waning. Regional clans were gathering strength. Their leaders were eager to fill the vacuum. Kai was ruled by the Takeda clan. Takeda Shingen is a towering figure in the history of the period. Of Shingen, it is said, he was the strongest leader. He defeated the future shogun. His people were his fortress. To his followers, he was the embodiment of greatness. How did this man become an object of such veneration? Professor Owada Tetsuo has studied this period of Japanese history for over half a century. まあ、samurai leader had a battle standard that was hoisted when he went to war. The banner proclaimed his credo. Shingen's credo remains familiar to everyone in modern Japan. This banner is an original example. The motto reads, Furin Kazan. Swift as the wind, gentle as a forest, relentless as fire, immovable as a mountain. These are the words of Sun Tzu from the Art of War. Shingen began his study of Sun Tzu as a young boy. He was born in 1521. At 21, he exiled his tyrannical father and became leader of his clan. Shingen was educated at this temple. Zen Buddhism emphasizes Zazen meditation and spiritual discipline. An understanding of Zen was seen as essential by many warriors of the day. He was deeply influenced by Sun Tzu, and his victory at Shiojiri Pass was the mark of a master strategist. The year is 1548. Shingen is 28. Pursuing territorial gains, he thrusts north into Shinano. The enemy is camped on Shiojiri Pass, 80 kilometers from Kofu. Shingen sets out for the pass, but halts his force 40 kilometers short of the enemy camp. Instead of advancing, he remains immobile for several days. The enemy concludes that Shingen is still preparing for battle. But his aim is to catch the enemy off guard. Finally, 
Under cover of darkness, Shingen makes his move. His force covers the 40 kilometer distance in two hours. Arrayed for battle, he waits for dawn. Then... Attack! At first light, he orders a general assault. The enemy is caught by surprise and quickly defeated. Victory is his. Shingen stood motionless until the time was right. When opportunity beckoned, he advanced swiftly and softly. His attack was relentless. The Battle of Shiojiri Pass is a pure example of food in Kazan. One of Shingen's trademarks was an essential part of food in Kazan. This was his extensive use of mounted warriors. His cavalry moved swiftly cross-country and were highly aggressive. How did Shingen create such a force? In 1989, the bones of a horse were unearthed near what is believed to have been the residence of Shingen's chief vassal. The animal was buried carefully, with legs folded, the mark of a war horse. Expert analysis suggests that cavalry mounts in Shingen's day were distinctive in several ways. The joints show little wear, evidence that the horse was not made to pull heavy loads. The teeth are in good condition, the result of a good diet. <laughs> The province of Kai is mountainous. The uneven terrain is ideal for raising horses. Many outstanding mounts have been born here. Leading historian Hirayama Yu explains that Shingen also focused on another aspect of warfare, one that made him an unusually successful general. Shingen had hundreds of ninjas. They could infiltrate enemy territory before a battle, gathering information about the terrain, roads, and routes of attack. And... Shingen's ninjas also had a role to play on the battlefield. By 1553, Shingen was extending his power into Shinano province, but his advance was challenged by Uesugi Kenshin of Ichigo province, which bordered Shinano on the north. His foe was a bold commander, and Shingen did not take the threat lightly. He dispatched his ninjas to shift the battle in his favor. Under cover of darkness, Shingen's spies penetrated a castle in the enemy rear and set it on fire. The garrison was plunged into chaos and scores were killed. This unexpected assault 
prompted Uesugi to withdraw into Ichigo. え、The province of Kai was mostly mountainous, with little flat land for rice farming. Every year was a struggle to grow enough food. Shingen worked to better his people's lives and raise their standard of living. <laughs> ま、まあ、North to Ichigo. His conflict with Uesugi Kenshin, the Lord of Ichigo, would drag on for a decade. But Kai was an impoverished province with little arable land. Gold was abundant in the mountains of Kai. Shingen rewarded his lieutenants with gold nuggets. He was one of the first to mint gold coins for exclusive use in his domain. These efforts helped keep Kai's economy growing. Examples of Shingen's coinage can be seen in a museum at the foot of a mountain where gold was once mined. These high quality coins with uniform weights for each denomination were called Koshu gold. They remained in use well into the Edo period. Sixteenth century Kai boasted upwards of twenty gold mines. Gold production was handled by teams of mining specialists. They had the skills to find the ore, build tunnels, and mine deep below ground. Shingen provided them with protection in return for a share of the gold they found. This ensured a stable flow of the precious metal and accumulated wealth for Shingen's domain. But mining technology had uses beyond digging for gold. This diagram shows the plan for an attack on a castle. At several points around the walls, it indicates where gold miners should dig. その そして敵を